welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you what i eat in the amazon as you can see whoa crikey mate i spot a big spoiler over there <coughs> why did that make me cough <coughs> crikey mate there's a big crock over there oh, okay i'm gonna shut up <laughs> in today's video i am actually gonna be doing a what i eat in the day for two days because if you didn't watch my mukbang which I'll link here or here I don't know which side I have been eating really really bad the past month or so and I've noticed like I've started to gain a little bit of weight so I kind of need to kickstart and eat healthy every single what I eat in a day video I've had up until this point I haven't actually done anything so all the food that I've shown you guys has been what I eat when I'm home and I'm able to cook not actually like if I'm going out if I'm like working volunteering so I actually filmed this over two days side by side I'm gonna show you like what I eat when I'm in a rush or I don't have time to cook and then when I have time to cook so yeah if you guys are looking for quick healthy recipes these are the non-cooked non-cook recipes for you I'm gonna stop talking and let's get on to the video this morning I'm gonna teach y'all how to make a really quick healthy breakfast that literally takes less than five minutes I usually have this when I don't have time to make eggs and sausages because that can take up to like 40 minutes because I always burn my sausages because I'm scared of raw meat I don't know why I'm gonna be making myself some Greek yogurt with bananas raspberries and honey and um, it's so good I love it especially raspberries are my favorite fruit and of course I'm gonna make myself some Colombian coffee because I just mean I can't go without my coffee. Please tell me I'm not the only one who does this. Whenever I wash my food, I always shake it and it kind of looks like an Italian arguing. <laughs> so I don't really need to do a voiceover for this because literally all you do is just add your favorite fruit and your Greek yogurt into a bowl. Then you're gonna drizzle it with honey. I'm making two because um, for me and Francesco. So now I'm gonna make my coffee at the same time, obviously don't drop it like how I usually do But this is my favorite coffee to make. Oh, someone texted me <laughs> um, I use this vanilla soy, which is so good. If you guys have never tried it before, I urge you to try it And I always add two spoonfuls of sugar Okay, so now for the cook option. This is what I normally make every single day. I love to have sausages with eggs spinach and feta cheese oh my god i could have this every single day for the rest of my life so you're gonna crack some eggs into a bowl y'all know how to make scrambled eggs don't drop it and don't leave the egg cracks in there like i do one little trick that i always do is add a little bit of milk because i heard that it makes your eggs more fluffy i think i don't know i just like it with milk here's a little clip of my burnt sausages i even cut them into butterflies because i'm so scared of them being raw i don't know why but here's the end result francesco is the one with the toast because i don't usually have toast with my breakfast um, i'm making my coffee as usual and bon appetit i was so hungry i took a bite before i could take a picture that looks ghetto <laughs> i want to put that I then changed my shirt and sat somewhere else so it looks a little bit more aesthetic but yeah that was my first time trying raspberries and bananas together the combination is not good don't recommend so I am looking a little bit better than I did this morning I'm gonna be in my pajamas all day I'm not gonna bother to change and impress y'all um, this is just how it is I'm editing all day today so I don't really need to go anywhere but I did do my makeup and hair I curled it with a straightening iron today, which I've never done before. I really like it. And then I just did like really just quick makeup so I don't look like shit <laughs> while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I have for lunch pretty much. I'm not gonna say every day, but usually if I'm going to work or if I'm volunteering or I just don't feel like cooking, this is usually what I have. Let's get making. I was gonna say cooking, but we're not. <laughs> So for lunch, I'm going to be making myself a sandwich with ham, spinach, cheese, just a little bit. And I'm going to have some chickpeas on the side with some lemon and salt. 
one thing I really like to do is add salt and pepper to my sandwiches because I just think it makes it a little bit better. And for the chickpeas, once you've drained it, pour it into a bowl, drizzle your lemon, and add a generous serving of salt, and oh my god, it's so good. So yeah, here's my ham and chickpea recipe. I normally like to have avocado with my sandwiches, but for dinner tonight, we're cooking a really healthy salad, and I'm going to be adding avocado into it, so I don't want to have like too much avocado, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go eat my beautiful lunch and I will see y'all at snack time or dinner time depending on how hungry I get probably snack time let's be real So now for the cooking option, normally I would make myself a tomato pasta with basil. Super simple, all you do is add garlic into your olive oil, cut up some tomatoes, add them into your pan, get some basil and literally just salt it and then you're done. It's so simple but it's so good. And parmesan of course. So I've changed into this shirt so I don't look like a complete lazy piece of poop today but i am still wearing my pajama pants so it's around like 4 30 right now and around this time i get really really tired like my body just wants to like go for a nap i can't do that because i have to train myself to stop taking naps so usually what i like to do is i will have a nice earl grey tea with honey also, I'm going to have myself a little appetizer. So for my appetizer, I'm going to make myself some bruschetta. And that is tomatoes with olive oil and sea salt. And bitch, once you try this bruschetta, it sounds really simple. But it is the best freaking appetizer. It literally takes like five minutes to make. So if you guys try this at home, please tag me. You will be very, very thankful. Like people are going to be impressed and be like, bitch. Are you from Italy? I like to say I can cook, but I only know how to cook Italian dishes and Italian dishes are very, very easy to make. Like, you can make the simplest dish taste amazing if you just add the right amount of salt. So I'm gonna teach you how to cook some bruschetta. Ow, why did I just do that? <laughs> Step one, put on a light. Oh, why is that hot? I'm gonna heat it up to like just a little over medium. This one goes to nine, so actually maybe it's more than medium, I don't know. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some olive oil. You're gonna just put a little bit, depending on how much you're making. I'm only making one piece, so I'm not gonna put too much on, just like a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna put my piece of toast like that. It's gonna take five minutes to cook on this side and then like two or three minutes on the other. So while you're waiting for that to toast, grab your tomatoes, wash them. You don't really need too much if you're just doing one. So I just like to do like a handful. And by the way, these are the baby plum tomatoes. Don't be getting those cherry tomatoes because it doesn't taste as good. I don't know why it just doesn't. Just to make it look aesthetic, I'm gonna put everything on this wooden thing. So I'm gonna take my little pieces of pepperoni which are the danish pepperoni from asda and then i'm gonna be taking some prosciutto i actually think this might be a bit too much olive oil so i'm actually just gonna dab some of that away and yes we did eat pizza the other day that's why i need to go on this little cleanse <laughs> all right y'all put half the amount that i put in originally so you don't want it to be too oily because then that's gonna make it not healthy now we wait Then once your piece of toast is toasted, oh, that's a great sentence. <laughs> you're gonna put your tomatoes on. You're gonna add a little bit of olive oil over top. Then you're gonna add some sea salt, but you're actually gonna wanna add like quite a lot. So add like two generous pinches like that. The last step is you're gonna take some oregano and put that all over the bruschetta. Sometimes I actually think I like it without the oregano, but it's just like a nice little spice. I know it looks really disgusting, um, but it's really, really good, trust me. I'm gonna go keep editing my vlog. Look at this cute pen, by the way. <laughs> mm. 
That is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go edit. <laughs> So the house is clean. I don't know why I wanted to film that. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing today. I changed back into my pajamas because it was just like really hot, that sweater. And then I was like, I'm gonna just keep it real. Today I'm not doing anything. I'm just cleaning the house. I'm being cozy. And um, if you think I'm weird because I'm in my pajamas all day, then you're weird. Who the f*** goes in jeans and stuff at home? Actually, maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not judging you. I think I'm actually gonna start cooking the chicken because tonight I'm gonna be making salad. I don't normally like salad, but I have been obsessed with chicken salad with balsamic vinegar, avocado, feta cheese. Like, it's so good. So, that's what I'm gonna be cooking today. And it's really easy to make. You don't really have to cook other than the chicken. You know, you can cook the chicken in the morning. You can cook the chicken the night before. So, just kind of do what works for you. But this is a really quick, easy dinner, and I absolutely love it. Didn't really record too much because it's pretty straightforward, but you just cook your chicken and prepare the salad, which is iceberg lettuce, sun dried tomatoes olives which i don't like <laughs> balsamic vinegar greek style cheese and avocado Ew. <laughs> i don't know how to make this look cute so there it is so this one's francesco's he has the sun-dried tomatoes and the olives whereas i just like simple avocado feta chicken boom by the way, I totally forgot to mention that you need to salt the chicken and the salad or else it won't taste as good. Buon appetito! And now for the cooking option. This is probably one of my favorite dinners to make because I love salmon. All you need is tomatoes, asparagus, and avocado with rice. And oh my god, it is so good. <laughs> I was getting bored here, so I was just trying to be aesthetic, but it didn't really work. So once your salmon and vegetables seem like they're ready, add in your avocado so it warms up, add a nice couple pinches of sea salt. Then once everything seems ready, I actually take out my salmon because I think it's more fair to like split it up that way. I add my rice into the pan and I add a little bit of olive oil because sometimes the rice can seem a bit dry. So it's just nice to like get it a little bit wet. Sorry if this sounds really gross. And then once everything's ready, I put it on the plate and it's good to go. And now, time for dessert. Look what we got. Dude, this is literally the best ice cream I've had in ever. Like just Reese's makes the best chocolate, the best ice cream, the best everything. That was the end of the video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also follow me on my other social media platforms. All at Megan Margo, except for Facebook, which is official Megan Margo. And I will see you guys very shortly with my next video. Mm -hmm.